Now let's take a look now at the SOMA curriculum and some of the challenges that we are facing that actually encompass this topic as well as maybe a little bit wider range of challenges. First of all, all of our students spend their first year on campus. And then the next three years, 10 teams of students go to 10 different community health campuses across the US, including Hawaii. Now, four full-time OPP, MESA-based faculty will develop web-based material that's delivered then by OPP faculty that are at each of these sites. So you have 10 extenders, OPP preceptors that are at these facilities, at these community-based campuses. And now we have early clinical experiences with many MD preceptors and DOs though that are not using OMT at these community health campuses. So some of our solution then is what we call the top 10. We've developed OMM orientation materials. It includes a video and hard copy of what we call the top 10. And we've selected these based on their simplicity, their safety, and their ability to be taught in a consistent manner, as well that they have wide applicability to their common clinical problems. So let's take a look. So at the end of the first year, all students then reach a competency in the top 10. Then the community health campus OPP faculty further develop their skills during the second year. So they have a formal training every week, just like they would on campus at Mesa. Now, additionally though, we try to train our preceptors at these community health campuses that are the regional medical directors that are responsible for their wider clinical experience also in what we're doing in OPP. So they've participated in what has been a faculty develop session on these top 10 basic skills as well. And it turns out though, that they were so enthusiastic that they wanted more detail and they wanted to have video recordings of actually what was being taught and shown, and they want more sessions to develop their own OPP skills. So these are both DOs as well as MDs that are in these campuses that have asked for more material, more detail. <clears throat> so in the development then of this top 10 program, we have an opportunity for the students under the supervision to integrate OMT where appropriate into their patient contacts. We will then be able to have documentation of increased opportunities for incorporation and utilization of OMT by the students during their clinical training. And then we have a faculty development resource that can actually be used to provide feedback and then quality improvement. And I'm sure that Dr. Berwick would appreciate the quality improvement aspect to this program. 